my entire life i've been f treated qu quite bad I, I feel i feel really alone and i felt like i was gonna search youtube for people with the same issue as me and that is being really unattractive and i've been having lots of issues with that because every video i come across is with a really attractive or normal person and they have no idea there was this time when i had a date with a girl and i stood on the train on the train up. station he and i looked for her for two hours before <sighs> i was like okay she gave up and then i went home and then she wrote that when she saw me i was so ugly she didn't have the encouragement to talk to me that was a girl that treated me so badly and was just using me she did every she called me ugly she forced me to walk five to ten meters behind her she'd never hold my hand she never kissed me it was not a good relationship she never cared about me she was always angry aggressive and for the first half year she didn't really want to be in an actual re relationship with me she just wanted to be with me we had and then she started calling me and being like you should take me back because you are unlovable. I remember those words so clearly. You are unlovable. Hey, and welcome to another blog. It, well, it's been a while since we've done a blog. A lot of things have happened. I'm here with my wife, Julie. I'm we are married. My husband, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it, though. My lover, I can like all the time. My yes. Husband. My husband. <laughs> and my wife. Every single time. All right, get over it. You was happy? You don't have to repeat it every five seconds. We know you're happy. I'm happy for you. What do you mean? It's just honeymoon. I'm not. It's just Jesus honeymoon. Christ. I'm happy for you. All right? Don't need to rub it in the face of people. All right? We get it. It's your wife. Your husband. Husband and wife. Wife. Husband. Husband. Wife. We get it. What you want to say? Say it. What? Why are you being a hater? I cannot be a hater. Yeah, you're hating really hard. That's crazy hating. They just came off their honeymoon. Come, come, like, whenever someone is hating, okay. it's oftentimes because they don't have that thing. I have it. No. Okay. You have it and still be hating. Some people are miserable inside. Some people are married I'm and cool. they're, ha they're hating no, on other married couples. Like, I, I just don't like, well, it's not a question of hating. Not everything is hating. Not every, not every time someone disagrees with something or, or something, like, it's like PDA. I don't like public display of affection, all right? I don't like when people just smooch and everything and stuff. It's not me hating on them. It's me not wanting to see that shit. I don't like that. I don't hate on them. I don't want to see that in public. That's not something that I like. It makes me cringe. When you say, I'm with my wife, I want that's my wife, my wife will hear my right? That makes me cringe. Because I'm like, yeah, I got it the first, the first time you said it. It's not a hate thing. It's just a, yo, you don't have to repeat it that much. I heard you the first time you said it. They just got married. They can't be excited right after just getting married? Sure. Okay, so there's not context in which someone you just be like, all right, you know, this is their moment. If it's 10 years in and they still get excited, fine. They just got married? Yeah, so just be excited. So you... repeating it is not necessary. That's just me. Okay. That's, that's my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. Even when you get like a for new car, that's my new car, my new whip. Ah, that's my whip right there. That's my... No, get on with it. It's not a question of love or whatever or whatnot. Or whatever. It's any, it's with anything. That's me. The first five seconds that you say the thing, I was like, yeah, okay, what is it that you want to tell me? You're not going to stay here saying, tell me that it's your wife, because I, I know you got other things that you want us to say, you want to say, so say that. Get on with it. That's it. It's not, I don't think it's hating. If you think it is, then it is then. then. Okay, all right. Love and the positive energy. Let's keep going. Yes. A lot of things have happened lately. Home tour time. We have moved and we are quite well settled. So we're gonna show off our new place and how we've decorated it and all that. This is how it looks in general. So for those of you who don't know this person is, we covered a video about him where basically he couldn't find anybody and just said everybody was repulsed by him. And uh, he just had a lot of bad dating experiences. I think it was uh, being ugly, his experience. And he talked about the crazy amounts of rejections, how women would tell him to walk behind him because they didn't want to see be seen beside him. My entire life, 
I've been f treated quite bad. I feel I feel really alone, and I felt like I was gonna search YouTube for people with the same issue as me, writing with people who had it difficult, who were sad, and like who didn't have it easy, and that's when I first met the first girl in my life that wanted to be with me. And I spent seven years with that girl and I regret it very much. We were just friends. It was chill. She was actually a terrible human being. <laughs> That's some fucked up shit. And you know, a lot of people were just being like, yeah, you ugly. And some other people were trying to send words of encouragement. So this guy's channel is called Never Give Up. Uh, and yeah, you know, you know, you said it's very demoralizing looking this way and trying to date. And, you know, a few years later, the dude's married. Yeah, he got his thing going on. Yeah. happy for him. Yeah. That's what's up. So he turned it around and switched it up. And, you know, sometimes we, we, we don't be showing love to people when they do it and they turn it around. So I was like, you know what? I thought it was a good story. I ended up messaging him. I asked him if he had anything you wanted to say on the topic or anything you felt. And he said, listen, he said everyone's situation is different. So I don't know how much I could really say. But, you know, kind of like my username, just never give up. I was like, oh, that was a pretty good message. I was thinking about interviewing for this, but I don't think that's good. Like, I could understand his, his, his situation and how bad it is. And the thing is that in the previous video, he was brutally honest about what he was going on. And, like, I could... Yeah, dude. I get what you mean, man. It's stuff out there. It is not easy. But the fact that you're able to find someone and stuff, that's cool. That's mad cool. That's dope. Doesn't mean that anybody's going to find that. But... Yo, never give up. That's a great message, and that's great, man. So what do you mean before that? What do you mean uh, not any, anybody's going to get find that? Because even even with his not even having his predicament of looks and stuff like that, I don't think that every everybody's going to find someone. So it, it could be very hard for some people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's always good to not lose hope. It's, it's a good thing not to lose hope and just, you know, you don't know, you don't know what's out there for you. No. And on that same, to same token, who am I to say that nobody's gonna find something? Maybe you know, maybe there is just someone out there. I wouldn't know. Just like you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, there's but, already people dying alone today. So yeah, yeah. the idea that there's gonna be more in the future is not an insane thing to say. Yeah, it's but just, it just shows you, despite all the setbacks that he is an individual. Uh -huh. Not rich. Yep. Not good looking. Yep. You know, not necessarily the most charismatic individual in the True. world. But you know what? Staying persistent and trying and then trying to improve himself. He ended up finding somebody who was a match for him. So, you know, that just shows you everybody can, not everybody will. Now, why you can't is a variety of reasons. Some people, it's circumstantial, but a lot of people, it's their own self-inflicted wounds. It's their own expectations for life. Or maybe what they want out of a partnership just doesn't really exist in reality. Why I like his message is because sometimes you feel like there's nobody for you and you lose hope and stuff like that. And whenever you go on a date, you sabotage yourself because your mindset is not there. You already think that, well, there's nobody going to be able, I'm never going to be able to meet someone. So if you go out there with that mentality, you might sabotage yourself even more than you think. You know? Ah, well, anyways, that person's not going to like me. Or that Going going there with that mindset is not going to help you get anything and achieve anything while having a relationship or being appealing to someone. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be with a Debbie Downer or something like that. Someone that just looks so much down on themselves and have a negative outlook on right. life. And so, or someone sh who shits on you when you're excited about something. No, 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 that's not the same thing. I'm <laughs> shitting on somebody else. I'm trying to make it something out of something that's not the thing. <laughs> that's not that. <laughs> it's just, yo, get on to the point. The, the, the lovey-dovey shit. <laughs> the Care Bear lovey-dovey hey, shit. Hey, yes, hey you got your old man grumpy mo going. Man. It's just, yo, when, when, it, when I that, see that couples, all the high stuff comes, I'm like, yeah, you love each other, but get the fuck out of my face. I'm sorry. That irks me. But I'm happy for him. That's, that's what's up. I think people got a grace period. You know what I mean? Yeah. They want to be like that after their honeymoon. Be, like, be, I get it. It's you. Be it's like, like every, every person I know, right, when they just start dating somebody, they get a little butterfly look on their face. They start talking about their partner. It's almost disgusting, but you understand it's fresh. I'm like, you know what? Go live your little happy moment. Like, oh, I, I can't be separated from the, I got go ahead. You know? And then if you're like that three years in, then I'm like, now nah, you annoy me. But then initially it's okay. Nah, you, you, you know there's no you initial period. Nah, you annoy me from the, from the jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You annoy me from the jump. It's not a 
I'm excited to call someone. You know, some people look for this person to be their wife their whole life. They want they want to find somebody. Yeah. Get that person. Yeah. That person. They because you. It's not like that for you. You didn't have that struggle because you kind of met your person when you was like 16, 17. That's not the point. That, that is the point. No, that's not because the point. when you when when somebody wants something for so long, when they get it, the, the excitement for them could be a big thing. That's Especially, not the point. That's not the point. You're missing the point. Okay, go ahead. The point is not so much the fact of wanting to. I am not someone that is a demonstrative person at the, from the jump. It has nothing to do with wanting something so bad. There's some stuff that I've wanted for so bad and for so long that I have now. I don't be like, yeah, this. I don't. I don't show it like that. That's very personal to me, the way I feel. So. It's not a question of whether you want something for so long and you have to, oh, so now you're, you're happy to... It's not that. It's whether you show it or you don't. Some things, keep keep it to yourself. Or, or, say it, but when you rub it in, rub it in, and I'm waiting for you to give me information, but you still at the first part, I'm like, hey, you're occupying my time right now. That's just, that's just what it is. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm blaming someone that wants something for so long. Okay. You're missing the point. Okay, I'm missing the point. I'm, I'm sorry. Anything else you want to say on this topic? Uh, All right. Well, glad we could leave it on such a positive note. Uh, congratulations on your marriage is all I wanted to say. Congrats. And uh, go enjoy your wife and say it as many times as you want. Just don't say it around pre. <laughs> God damn.